Hey everybody, welcome back to another Warframe build video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Necros. Operator, you have As you can see, I started with Energy Siphon. It's a great aura mod for Necros just because more energy means more alts. And then I go into Narrow Minded, Transient Fortitude, Primed Continuity, Vigor, Streamline, Primed Flow, Intensify, Shield of Shadows. This is an Augma mod you can get from one of the syndicates. And what it does is, as you can see, it says within 50 meters each take 6% of damage done to Necros in his stead. And what it means that by that is every whatever summon you do with the ultimate will reduce your damage. You can get up to, I think, 8? 7, I guess. That was 8, but... You can get up to 7. However, if you have a Grenier or an Infested that spawns more like the Heckmaster, you can get up to even past that, and it will even put your damage reduction even higher than it was initially. This is why I set up the whole build around this augment mod. So as you can see my range is lower but I don't really need range because I mean look at those modifiers compared to without mods. 2.5 jumps to 3.6, 2 jumps to 2.75, 2 2.75. The health decay a second was 3 but I've cut it over half down. That's what I run on my Necros, and that is the Summoner build. Now I'll be showing you how it works in something. I'll find something that we can run. And this is also the Deluxe skin, if you haven't seen it yet. This thing is so good. They did an excellent job on Necros. I love this skin. Alrighty, through the magic of editing, I will take you into some content to show you what this build can do. Alright, this... I don't even know what this is called, Ready. but it's an Oroken Survival. It's a Neo Fisher. So this we should work to show to you what we can do with Necros. Void fishers, you need them to open a relic, but are you confident you can withstand Hopefully them? I don't die within the first five seconds. That's kind of be embarrassing. Wouldn't be able to show you much. Systems. I'm sending life support capsules your way. The first life support capsule has arrived. Activated so the first move is soul punch. It's pretty much just like a punch and it'll knock whatever back that you hit it with. That's a pretty fun move, but this build isn't based around it, so I rarely use anything besides the ult. However, this is very useful. That stun will save your life like it just did there for me. Let's see if I got enough. And this is what the ult will look like and how your summons will. Now with Shield of Shadows, you're going to see these tethers to me, and that's how you know when their damage reduction is. So right now I'm up to 74% damage reduction, and that's a lot of damage reduction. That alone will make me way more tankier, because earlier you saw me just almost die from a little group that I had to pop terrified. And now with this, I mean, they're barely even hitting me. And you can also repop it, and it will heal up whatever enemies you have out, and I also think it will summon more if you lost one. So now we're up to 6. And another thing is, if you're like far away, and you need to summon all your, your summons back to you, so let's go over here for example. Come up over here, and I can just pop them right here, and they all come back to right where I summoned them. So now everyone's near me again, I've got the full reduction. So that's just a general idea how this build is going to work, and how tanky is. I mean, I'm just sitting here, I can let them do everything, and I can just sit here. And I'm not even taking any damage. Another nice thing about all the summons is they will kind of divert their attention to them a lot of the times. You just repop it and there you go. The relic has been cracked open. Finish your mission to find out what's inside. Yeah, so see I don't like how they're all separated like this, I'll just gonna repop them back. And there they are. And it, when you have everyone summoned, it will be a faster animation because all you're doing is pulling them to you and healing them. So it won't be as long as when you're sitting there just channeling the all. I'm lucked out I got the Roken buff on my thing too, so it's probably even better. Move and strike. We have to win this. And the, uh, the all will also automatically pick from the strongest enemies you've killed. So you don't have to worry about it summoning like a weak enemy unless that's all you've killed. That's why you see I have a... Uh... Well, since everyone ran off again, let me just resummon them back to where I want them. 
do I even have? I don't even know. They're all running away on me, man. This ain't cool. That's the thing, though. Your summons will love to just run off and murder things. Which isn't too big of a deal, because, I mean, even right now, I'm at a 42% damage reduction. Or 32 now. It, it bumps up somewhere. But, I mean, this build is very effective. I, I wish we could find something that had, like, more than just, like, one summon, like a hex. We might be able to find one. If I can kill that, then I can show you how strong this can get with more than just a 7. I mean, 63 damage reduction is nothing to joke about. That is over half damage just instantly t reduced. And now, as you see, since I've killed some stronger enemies, I've now got Eximus is starting to spawn. Because I've been killing them. I mean, we just want a build that's potent, makes you tanky. This is a definitely good build for you. And apparently all my summons are gonna run off on me and try to get me killed. So like in a situation where you're about to die, like absolutely pop terrifying. I mean it's such a good ability, you just go like this, everything just stops, runs away. However, with the reduced range you are gonna notice that it like it isn't as potent, because you're not gonna be able to just run a whole room away. Additional life support has arrived. I think this is my corrupted gunner, I think. Nope, it's not. Alright. I know I got one now. One is I do I don't have oh I have an ancient. No, no I don't. I don't know what I have. Go to extraction. Our operative is making progress. This will help our cause. Let's see if they'll leave. Cause I'm like ready to roll, to be honest. I'll take an Akana Prime. I just came in real quick to show you guys what we can do. So I hope that's beneficial. If you have any more questions or what build you want me to show you next, that I can try to put together, like, let me know in the comments below. Because, I mean, I just want to help people out and, you know, help the community at the end of the day and just show you some, like, my ideas for a build and what I like to run. So, yeah, feel free to comment down below, subscribe if you want to see more, give me recommendations, even if it's not on Warframe, you know, be like, oh, your sound's bad, you know, let me know, I don't want to have you guys have your ears just blown out because I'm too loud or something. So, feel free to let me know. Give me feedback down in the comments below, subscribe if you want to see more, and thank you for watching, I really do appreciate it. Mission complete. And thank Excellent you for taking a look at this Warframe video, and I'll see you in the next one. You have a good one.